Bonjour, my name is Nessie, and I'm the creator of an online cabinet of curiosities based in Paris called Messy Nessie Chic. Here's my motto, don't be a tourist. Which is why in this web series we will not be going up the Eiffel Tower, or queuing up for the Notre Dame, or eating pastries, or, well, okay, I might be eating a couple of pastries. But my point is, I'm going to show you the unloved oddities, the hidden nooks and the forgotten places, the really good stuff. And maybe there'll be some cheese. Greetings, Paris lovers, and welcome to the city of... Ugh. Do we have to call it the city of light? It's so cheesy. Today we're at Les Puces, the legendary flea market, where I frequently partake in one of my favorite pastimes, looking for stuff I absolutely don't need. A little tea party, a little bit of Belle Epoque erotica, Oops, some 80s erotica. They say the term flea market actually originated right here, some dude in the 1880s visited the market, and looking down on it from his high horse, he saw the peddlers selling their scrap and allegedly exclaimed, My word, but it is a market of fleas. 3D was all the rage back in the early 20th century, not just uh, today. This was probably your, your entry-level stare at Stethoscope or stereoscope? Stereoscope. Stereoscope. I don't know where stereo comes from because that implies sound. Two, right. So you lift this up to let the light in. And then you look inside. And I'm sitting right there with this group of friends having a picnic. It's pretty cool. I need it really close. It tells you how blind I am. Okay, fine. I admit it, I'm totally nostalgic. But you don't need to love old stuff and antiques to love Les Puces. This place is weird and beautiful and full of stories and crazy characters. It's a giant cabinet of curiosities. It's lunchtime at Les Puces, and I'm in the mood for some old-school French entertainment. So I'm headed to an unusual restaurant hidden in the oldest part of the flea market. We're here at Chez Louisette which is pretty much the kitschiest restaurant in Paris. They've got their Christmas decorations up all year round. It's been open since the 1930s. It's hidden right in the depths of this Marché Vernaison, which is the oldest market in, within the Les Pousses market. And it's pretty much a good time ganguette, which means sort of like, yeah, like a village ball, except it's in a bistro. It's all about the atmosphere and and these singers that basically their entire lives have just been singing covers of Edith Piaf's greatest hits. It just doesn't get any cheesier than this. And you've got to love it. <laughs> Go easy on the wine, though. Merci. Yeah, it's a big sausage. Bon appétit. Merci. Moule à la crème. Out. Out. Can you explain again what Andiette is exactly? Andiette is a lot of things. It's a... Uh, it's pork. Uh, it's kind of like the, the intestines. Intestines. Uh, so, yeah. And it smells strong, but it tastes great. Let's try it. Ready? Eat it. Oh god. <laughs> oh. Oh, the aftertaste is really what hits you. Oh god. <laughs> Nails. I've lived here for seven years and I think I've had them once. Slippery little suckers. They don't stay. Bonjour. 
Les Puces is basically its own town, made up of 15 different markets, each with its own village atmosphere. From last century's pornography to the smelliest sausages in French cuisine, it's got all the right ingredients for the perfect day out. Stay curious and join me down the rabbit hole on the next episode. Also, don't forget about my book, Don't Be a Tourist in Paris. It's the one with the stripper pole on the cover, and it's all about Paris Unknown. Find it at shop.messinessychic.com. See you next time. I hope you enjoyed wandering around with me. And if you'd like some more, I recommend that you subscribe to the Facebook page, Messy Nessie Chic. And I'll be waiting with a glass of wine, of course.